All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hope we lick. And today's uh, lesson is inspired by uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. All right. So ultimately, you know, we ultimately know what the Lord, whatever the Lord puts his word to. All right. But the prophecies that are written there in the scriptures, they're going to come to pass because we know the, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. All right. So whatever the Lord says goes. But without further ado, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. Because ultimately back then, you know, as a watchman, what you would do all right, is uh, set up on a tower all right, and uh, 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 watch out for the danger right, that will come against you and your people. All right, so ultimately, likewise, in these times, as the Lord Yahweh Bashim Ashad has given us his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of what's going to go down in these latter times, all right, he has set us up as watchmen to warn the people or the house of Israel, all right, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because that's truly who this warning is for. Because ultimately, this warning is out there for the house of Israel to get right, but we know only the elected and nation of Israel is going to come back and repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Ashad. All right, verse 2. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table. So we're supposed to make it, you know, where a five-year-old can understand it. All right. We're supposed to break it down plain and simple. All right. It says that he may run that reads it because once you hear this word, are right, you supposed to take heed, all right, pay attention to the signs and watch out for, uh, for the Lord's return. All right. And here's the point in verse three. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yashai has a set date for when he wants each and every single one of his prophecies to come past. All right. This is, but at the end, it shall speak, and it's speaking now. All right. Now you got uh, signs of the sea hip. Uh, what's that? Uh, I believe it's in uh, uh, December. Uh, Sleepy Joe Biden um, plans to get rid of, plans to uh, uh, introduce. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was, but it's like Biden bucks or something like that. Um, if I, if I, um, uh, if I run across it, I'll put the, I'll put the link to the article, but you know, the, the sea hip coming to pass, all right, like the Lord spoke of throughout the scriptures, these, uh, various different earthquakes in diverse places, and these hurricanes going on, our right, uproars of the people. All right. These are all signs of the Lord's return. All right. It says, and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry because once again. Yahweh Bashim Yashad has a set date right, for when each and every single one of these prophecies are going to come to pass. Right, and the flesh right, is going to seem to us like it's taking forever, but that's because we're not on the same time frame as Yahweh Bashim Yashad. All right. But ultimately, these prophecies are not going to tarry. All right. They're going to come to pass exactly when the Lord wants them to come to pass. And that, as I stated earlier, you know, we're not on the same time frame as Yahweh Bashim Yashad. When you go to the book of 2 Peter, Chapter 3, in verse 8, it says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So ultimately, a thousand years to us is just a day with the Lord, all right? Showing that we're on the same different, we're on different time frames, all right? We're on a different time frame than Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right? But ultimately, once again, these prophecies are going to come to pass when they're supposed to come to pass, or as the Lord, as uh, as when the Lord has uh, has appointed them to come to pass, that's why verse nine goes on to say, <laughs> "Slack you." That's why verse nine goes on to say, "The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, because ultimately, at the end of the day, man, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is always going to deliver His word. The Lord ain't going to slumber. All right, he he he's not he's not going to uh, uh, go back on His promises. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is always going to deliver on His word." It says, um, some men count slackness because ultimately, you know, the average man, the average person in the world, man, they say they'll do something for you. You know, I, I, I hope you, uh, uh, repair your car tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, they don't do it. Oh, my bad. You know, I, I had a lot to deal with. I'll get to you next week. Next week come, they don't do it. So on and so forth. But when the Lord says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. I know it's ands or buts about that. All right. It says, um, but it's long suffering towards usward. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 
and that's talking or referring to us Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But we know, according to prophecy, that only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to turn to Yahweh Bashem Yashai, which includes the 144,000. All right, and then the innumerable, the 144,000 men, are right, then the innumerable multitude, which consists of men, women, and children. All right, and according to prophecy, our right, two-thirds of our people are going to die off in this destruction that Yahweh Bashem Yashai is bringing. All right. Um, let's see here. This is going to be the book of um, <clears throat> Isaiah, chapter 55, beginning at verse 10. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so also me. Actually, let's go on to read verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in thing where to I sent it. So also, you know, the Lord compared, you know, his word, are right, being pushed forth, or his word uh, coming to pass. All right, so to when rain comes down and waters the earth, because and when rain hits the ground, it doesn't return back. Uh, to the air where it came from. All right, when that rain comes down, what does it do? It helps to, uh, uh, and, you know, it waters the grass, the plants, and helps them grow, you know, things of that nature. So the Lord is saying as the rain, all right, fulfills its purpose, all right? So when the Lord says he's going to do something, and then when he says, you know, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, all right? When he says the, this this prophecy, all right, when the Lord said, so, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me voice. So whatever the Lord puts his word to is going to come to pass. All right? It says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I shift it. So, oh, <coughs> it's like you. Whatever the Lord says, goes. All right? This is uh, going to be the book of uh, Isaiah. <laughs> Chapter 46, beginning in verse 9. And these are the words of our Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right? So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 9. Remember the former things of old, I, for I am the Most High, and there is none else. <clears throat> it's like you. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. And what separates Yahweh by Shai? All right, from these other uh, false gods? All right, verse 10 goes on to tell you. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures. So, ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yashai already has everything mapped out or planned out. As right, scripture just said, declaring the end from the beginning. So, everything is, is, is due to come to pass in this appointed time. All right? Just, and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, because ultimately, there's still some prophecies that have yet to come to pass. All right, but the Lord said these things to come to pass. All right, but once again, these certain prophecies, such as uh, the, the the mandatory implementation of the sea hip, all right, the deliverance of the elect, our right, World War Three popping off, all right, Jacob's trouble, all those prophecies have an appointed time in which Yahweh Bashim Yashai has set for them to come to pass. All right, it says um. And from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure, right? And ultimately, the counsel of the Lord is found in these scriptures. The counsel of the Lord is the Bible. Once again, these words that are in the scriptures, everything that Yahweh Bashim has put his word to is going to come to pass. All right? This is uh, going to be the book of, um, the book of uh, Numbers. Chapter 23 and uh, verse 19. It says, For Yahweh is a man, it's like you. It says, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? And ultimately, the Lord is not a liar. All right, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is always going to make his word come to pass. All right, whatever the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai puts his word to, all right, it's going to come to pass. All right, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like like the scriptures say, Yahweh is not a man. So the Lord is not you know, like the average man on earth. You know, the average man on earth, you know, they say they'll do something, but end up not doing it. All right? Um, 
But ultimately, it's different with the Heavenly Father because whatever the Heavenly Father says goes. All right. This is uh, going to be the book of uh, Isaiah. Chapter 34 and uh, verse 16. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, talking about these scriptures. It says, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate because no no other book can be compared to the scriptures. All right, you can't compare the, 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 the Quran to the scriptures. All right. You can't compare the Jewish Talmud to the scriptures. All right. Because ultimately, written here in these scriptures, all right, you know, history, prophecy, our heritage. All right. Ultimately, the reason why you can't make the reason why you can't make uh, any other book to these scriptures is because these scriptures are are the only uh, true words. All right, these are the only thing. The scriptures are the only things that are going to come to pass. All right, the 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 the, 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 the Quran ain't got nothing on the Bible, and neither does the Jewish Talmud. All right, it says, "Um, for my mouth it has commanded, and the spirit it has gathered them." Right. Oh, so like, let me read that again. It says, uh, no one of these shall fail. Right, that's going to these prophecies. Because ultimately, everything that the Lord has put his word to is going to come to pass. All right? It says, um, none shall want her mate. For my mouth has commanded, and in spirit it hath gathered them. And in these latter times, who is being gathered all right, by the spirit of the Lord? All right, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? This is uh, the book of Psalms. Chapter 33 and uh, verse 11. It says, The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. So ultimately, you know, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yashai are going to stand. I right, know if ands are busts about it. All right, it says, The thoughts of his heart to all generations. And you know, scriptures going to, have, uh, going to um, um, I believe that's uh, 1 Corinthians, where it's like, Who hath known the mind of the Lord? But we have received the mind of Hamashiach, roughly paraphrasing, because we know the will of the Lord. Or we know the will of the Lord is to destroy uh, Babylon, a.k.a. America, and to deliver his elect. All right. And that the Lord's uh, um, the Lord's determination to do that I right, still stands to this very, very day. All right. That's why it says the thoughts of his heart to all generations, because, you know, this prophecy has yet to come to pass. But the Lord, all right, as the scripture said, you know, the most high is not a man and he should lie. All right, so these prophecies are going to come to pass. All right, no, uh, this is going to be the book of uh Proverbs, chapter 19, and um, it's <clears throat> lucky Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 21. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. All right, so also, you know reason why I brought out this precept you know, as the beginning says there are many devices in a man's heart. You know, man thinks they do this, man thinks they do that. All right, they don't put, you know, Lord willing behind anything. All right, but you know the latter and latter part of the scripture is the point. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. All right, so whatever the Lord once again, once again, whatever the Lord puts his word to, all right, is going to come to pass. All right. These prophecies of the, the destruction of America, all right, the deliverance of the elect on the nation of Israel, all right, Jacob's trouble, uh, the uh, the mandatory implementation of the sea hip, all, right, all these things are going to come to pass because the Lord said these things will happen, all right? So the Lord's will this lesson was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of great millstone, who were well and preached the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopefully look. And Lord's will, I see you in the next lesson. Until then, Shalom.